At the start of working with people, I jump on calls with them, a free chat to discuss what it is that they're looking for. And this week, I want to spend some time answering with you a question that I get asked time and time again. And that is around, and this is on these calls that people often before we start working together come with a very familiar struggle. The question is around, how do I actually self soothe? Because Carly, I have read everything. I know the tools, I know the strategies, I know logically the information, yet still when it comes down to it, I act out in that moment. My anxiety takes over. I'm in a state of despair. I'm sending those 10 messages. I feel so numb. And it's like, you're trying so, so hard. And actually sometimes you are seeing results and then something happens and you find yourself under that stress again, where self-soothing can feel impossible in those moments. And the question is around, I have the awareness, how do I actually put it into practice? Who can relate to that? Who can relate to being aware of your insecure attachment patterns? Who can relate to reading all of the information, to knowing the logic, to knowing the education, but struggling when it comes to your day-to-day -day life and the way that you navigate dating and navigate your relationship with your partner? Who can relate to that? And wow, the feeling afterwards when we're like, how am I back here again? That, that's who I'm working with. That's who I'm helping. And so this is what I want to discuss with you. Hopefully that was helpful just to hear that, to know that this does not just happen to you, that I know for sure. So you may or may not know, it depends on if you're new around here or not. So I'm Carly Ann. I'm a holistic attachment coach. I work with people around healing relationship patterns, relationship wounds that keep showing up time and time again, and you're struggling to make that long term change and it's impacting your relationships with yourself or with others. And I work based on six core pillars when I'm working with people, the secure pillars is the acronym. And the very first pillar, giving this away, you can get access to all the pillars, I'll put them in the bio, is around self in presence, okay? This is where I really support you to create that change in the moment. This is when I'm helping you to move out of living in that state of reactivity, when you're in just an ocean of emotions that hijack you and take over and you act out of character, despite what you know, the logic, and sometimes we can see ourselves. Um, presence is more than awareness presence is not getting rid of a difficult situation or a confusing situation we we go through these transitional periods in life we go through endings and new beginnings presence is around how do i be with this experience without avoiding without losing my sense of self without acting out of character how do i pause choose my responses to the best of my ability, humanness, allow humanness, um, and not react in a way that I'm later possibly going to regret or just feel awful about, not that we need to, because that's part of the process as well, but it's this step, uh, I guess, after awareness. So if you have the awareness, that is amazing. It really is. And now we want to move over into how do we be present with what you're experiencing without that having to lead in to acting out, without it having to lead into like the reactive moment. So this is what we're looking at. So how do you create self in presence? Well, there is a really long list, as you um, might not be surprised to hear, because it's not a one size fits all. We're all very different. It's very nuanced when it comes to this. Um, but this is when we are looking at things like coming back into relationship with yourself, with nature, with something bigger, the grounding and centering. How do I center when I'm in a storm? How do I hold steady when I'm in a storm? And if you are practicing things like grounding techniques and centering techniques, somatic awareness, you know, being aware of what you're experiencing and where you're feeling it as and when it happens, you're going to build up your resilience. You're going to build up your ability um, to manage that window of tolerance when emotion does take over. I would recommend centering techniques, grounding techniques, presence, even when you're not triggered. Okay, so sometimes I do hear like, well, what's the point? I feel okay at this time. 
create these patterns, create these habits when you're not triggered and you're going to be more likely to use them in the moment. So I know I've just kind of given you a little bit of a hint here, given you a bit of information. If you do want more details, download my six core pillars, you know, follow me on Instagram, do all of the things. I have a membership as well that is especially for attachment styles and rediscovering yourself in there. You've got so many rituals, so many techniques, so many getting to know yourself and the grounding, like I've said. So if you do want to dive deeper and you're wanting to go further than perhaps a YouTube video can take you, then there, there's options there. Um, but I hope that's useful. Do not forget you're enough, you're lovable, you're so, so worthy and you are irreplaceable.